I'm gonna start with a little motivational intro. Wow, so many scarabs. Good loot. I'll put it with the others. What the hell is that? Chris, I'm asking you, what is this pathetic loot goblin? That's better. Yep. That's definitely better. Thank you, Chris. Greetings, exiles. I hope your magic find goes as well as mine. Well, I'm continuing my journey. I'm going to start this video with my atlas, because a lot of you had questions about it, so let me tell you what I'm doing on my journey. First of all, Expedition is part of my atlas because it is one of the best, if not the best mechanics in the game that allows you to consistently earn currency. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Also, in the new league, the developers added a cool new keystone for Expedition and now it's even better. I replaced Ritual with Beyond because I wanted to test the new features that the developers added to the game. And what can I tell you, Now Beyond is a very good option for magic finding especially in combination with the new keystone, the 7th gate. Thanks to which, on our map device there is always an option with Beyond. And most likely this mechanic will be one of the basis of my MF strategy in this league. So if you haven't tried it yet, I recommend it. You'll definitely like it. I spent the rest of my Atlas skill points on Legion, because it's another good mechanic for magic find. On a separate note, I would like to mention another new keystone, namely Meticulous Appraiser. Thanks to it, the number of unique items that we will find on maps increases significantly. But 99% of them are trash, but because there will be a lot of them we will sometimes find something valuable. For example this. Or even this. So Meticulous Appraiser definitely has some potential and uses. But this keystone has a big drawback, which is that all map quantities are turned into rarity and because of that the amount of currency and valuable divination cards that we will find on maps will be significantly reduced. Also we will find less maps, which affects our map sustain. All in all a pretty interesting keystone that could potentially be used for an alternative MF strategy. Also, it will be very useful for all solo self-found enjoyers because thanks to it your chances of finding the desired unique item increases significantly. Anyway, a very interesting keystone that I will definitely come back to because it definitely has potential. But in the current version of my atlas, I don't use meticulous appraiser because I'm focusing on divine orbs and divination cards, namely the fortunate. This is another new feature that was added to the game in the Trial of the Ancestors League and that improved the MF strategy. This time I decided to focus not on the cemetery but on the Dune and Mesa. Because that's where you can find the fortunate and because these maps are connected to each other which makes it easier to sustain them. And so far I'm very happy with this strategy because the fortunate is a very common card that you will be able to find with MF gear. I'll probably move to Cemetery later, but so far I chose Dune and Mesa with Beyond, Legion, Expedition, and of course Blue Altars and some Divination and Reliquary Scarabs. Hopefully we are done with Atlas, and now let's go visit Maven and pick up my third Void Stone. Just a few portals and it's mine. Just remember to switch your MF gear for something useful. I also need a fifth slot on my map device. Legion is pretty easy for this build. So to avoid changing your gear again, let's get our last Void Stone. This fight was a bit difficult, but six portals is the best defense. So the last Void Stone is mine. I'm done with this part of the journey and I think my character did a good job with it and he deserves the reward. Let's get some new items. A new quiver. To be honest, it's nothing special, but it's better than my current one. Next I need a new Ventor's Gamble. A good and expensive one. 
Like this one. I may have overpaid a bit for it, but it's exactly what I need. I also need inspired learning. By the way, it is now much cheaper than I paid for it, because the price is decreasing every day. So don't let its price scare you, it's probably much cheaper at the moment. Next, I need a level 3 enlightened to solve my mana problems. I'm done with shopping and now it's time to craft. Let's try to improve my bow for starters. Let's use benchcraft and prefixes cannot be changed and then harvest craft. Reforge item with critical modifiers. Maybe I'll get lucky. Not the best. Alright, so be it. A minimal improvement is also an improvement. Now benchcraft. And then my favorite part. Exalted Slam. Wow. Just what I need. The perfect bow. But jokes aside. My current weapon has almost 1000 elemental DPS which is not very high at this stage and I need to change it to something else. A bow with at least 1250 elemental DPS but I will definitely do that but somehow later. Now it's time for the amulet. I need a base with Shaper Influence. The main modifier I need is item's quantity and preferably it should be 10%. There should also be some other useful modifiers. But honestly, I can't think of anything except Alteration Spam. I'll just have to hope for my luck. It's a rather long and tedious process. Maybe essences will help me. Again, nothing. How about the old and trusted chaos spam? That's it. Just what I need. Chaos spam always works. Now benchcraft. And then mega slam. mana and again a big hit okay well all in all the amulet turned out pretty well and the final touch tattoos because that's what makes anyone a cool dude there's a lot of options out there but i decided to go with items rarity just what i need now my character is ready for new adventures and new lucky drops Personally, I really like this variation of Magic Find Deadeye. Even though we only have 50% items quantity and about 200% items rarity with Flask and Rampage bonus, I think this is the optimal variation for MF. Because it's very balanced. We have damage, speed, survivability, and acceptable MF stats, and it's very nice and comfortable to play on this build. We ramp up pretty fast and then we are unstoppable. All in all, a pretty fast and enjoyable build. But if you don't like that this build has low items rarity and quantity, we can change our gear and significantly increase these parameters. So let's do it. But in the next video, I hope you enjoyed the second part of my video series. Also, I will be very grateful for likes, subscriptions, and comments. Bye everyone and see you in new videos.